Now, skiing and snowboarding are bucket list items for many, and for those looking for a truly unique experience, the Maluti Mountains in Lesotho are the place to be. Here's more with Edmund Nyabola. Skiing and snowboarding are bucket list items for many. The Afriski in Lesotho's Maluti Mountains is pulling in winter sports enthusiasts from across the world, despite only having one kilometer of piste. Ski and snowboarding in South Africa, it's amazing. There are just two resorts in South Africa. And why not? It's opportunity to meet uh, new people, visit new country. This unlikely resort also hosts South Africa's only Olympic alpine skier. Connor Wilson trains here for a few weeks every year. And despite its size, he believes the venue has great potential. Yeah, Afri Ski has been a great help in my training. I don't think I would have got to the Winter Olympics without them. So obviously being in southern Africa, our resorts are not as big as mountains overseas. But I think considering the fact that we are in Africa, I think that they've done a tremendous job. Afri Ski is not only growing its international clientele, but also cultivating skiers from Lesotho. One up-and-coming skier is 10-year-old Taba Mubari, who started skiing here when he was three. I dream that one day can be like him because he's training together with him sometimes. Yes, and then he learned him how to ski very well. So I hope maybe one day can be a big champ of, of skis. You know, it gives the guys an opportunity to try and ski and snowboard. And at the same time, you know, the school programs that we're doing for our local kids here, it, it's making a very good awareness that skiing can actually be done by anyone. Despite its small size and relatively limited facilities, Afriski still sees itself as a destination firmly on the global winter sports circuit that pays homage to its European competitors. Edmond Nyabola, CGTN.